Uh, next, I'd like to demonstrate that if we have a, a metal object, such as this metal sphere, this particular one happens to have a hole in it here, but uh, when we charge it up, all of the charge will reside on the outside as those uh, charged particles try to get as far away from one another as they can. Uh, if we charge it up negatively, for example, the electrons will try to separate out from one another as far as they can, and that will put them all on the outside of the sphere. I can demonstrate that by uh, putting a little bit of charge on the Van de Graaff generator and then touching this sphere to that and uh, also touching me to it. Uh, but we've picked up some negative charge here. Now, I'm going to probe that with, uh, with this uh, sphere. I'm going to dip down inside and see if there's any charge on the inside. And the way I'm going to tell is to pull that out carefully, touch it on the electroscope, and see that uh, we don't charge the electroscope. Now when I touch it on the outside of the sphere where the charge resides, I'll pick up some charge on this little sphere, which will then charge the electroscope, indicating that there's no charge inside the sphere. All the charge resides on the outside of that metal sphere. And that's true with any metal conductor. All of the charge will reside on the outside.